back at y'all with another one, man. I appreciate all the people for liking, subscribing, and commenting to my page. Keep running it up. Um, my live was tweaking last night, but I got it fixed with YouTube, so I'll be going live tonight. Now, I'll be going live tonight, but tonight I got a special guest, man. And me and him, we starting a, we starting a podcast. I'll be coming to y'all real soon. But we're going to pop our shit tonight. So y'all make sure y'all on my live tonight. Because Shark on Land going to be there. So make sure y'all on my live tonight. Shark on Land is going to be on my live, man. And we're going to talk about a lot of things tonight. So make sure y'all on there, man. And um, enough of that, though. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, man, to my page. And let's get into this story, man. This story is a touchy story to me, man. It pissed me off a lot. I be having ill feelings sometimes towards, you know, the 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 uh, some old people, another race that did it, you know. But I'm growner than that. But today's story is on Jaja, Jairo City, Jaja, man. Jaja, I met Jaja, and I'ma say 2011, 12, 2011 and 12. You know, it used to be running through the neighborhood um, on 61st, 61st Aberhart, 61st and Rhodes, 61st and, I mean, Vernon. You know, TB and them used to stay down there. My man Reese used to be down there. All them little Taekwondo real who big now, they used to be on 61st and Vernon in the crib right there. And, um, you know, he was a smooth little nigga. He was smooth, always quiet. He had put me in a frame of being quiet like OD. Like, he quiet, bro, like. He quiet, he pay attention to everything, but he also, you know, part of his environment. Um, I met all of them through G Daisky, shout out G Daisky, cause that's who I was over there at their crib and shit. When all of them, you know, them was like his friends. All of them was like his friends. They hang with him, come over there, he hanging outside with them. So, you know, I watched them grow up. Um, Jaja, the turn and, and him in the streets. It was like they like he was you know when you see your friends die Taekwondo them took a toll on them you know Venzel and you know um I remember we was at they had this video shoot we was doing this video shoot of Motown and all of them was just jumping around and shit and um Jaja I missed that video shoot though but he was supposed to be there um. K.I. and them, all them, you know, everybody, everybody, you know, everybody say, you know, was he like that and all that, man? The man is dead, man. So I really don't want to say that he was like that or none of that. But I will say he was a smooth stepper. He ain't get caught, and y'all don't know nothing about it. So that's that's all that matters with that. So he was through the hood. Taekwon, Biko, um, Lil Bubba, um... Just name, just name some some fruits, people, you know, big names who he be around. Shout out to Lil Bubba too. I see you doing your thing, little bro. Shout out to Lil Bubba 062. Um, and yeah. So, you know, as the neighborhood was as the neighborhood was turning people down and people going to jail, you know, a person like them they ain't had no choice but to step up. You know, they had they was the next in line. You know, it's a sad thing in Chicago, but things like that happen. Um, I remember this day clearly. I remember this day clearly when Jaja got killed. Man, it, it it's heartbreaking. We was at we was at G Daisky crib on Union, and um, we was all over there. Duck, all us in the room. I remember it. Billy, all us. We was all in the crib. All us was in the house. Dex, all us. You know, Daisky and them stayed on Fifty Third and Union. Jaja got killed on Forty Seventh and Ashland. So that's right there. So when they got the phone, we got the phone call that Jaja got killed. We right there. We right here. We ain't right there on the scene, but we right there. Man, what happened? Man, say he got killed by some fucking Mexicans trying to initiate. When they came on the news and they grabbed dude and they asked him why he did it, he said he did it for initiation. Man, I mind you, don't, we don't see no Mexicans where we from. We never see no Mexicans in our neighborhoods where you from, like probably the Stones and Motown. Or like Lil Zay or some of them across California. Or some old neighborhoods that's probably connected to Latinos. But 63rd, St. Lawrence, and Rhodes, you will never see no Mexican. He got killed. And his mama, he was with his mama. He was with his mama when he got killed. 
So that shit is even heartbreaking. And for some rappers, like I heard Vaughn, I heard um, a lot of people on the other side, Keith. I heard them talk about Jaja, bro. And when they talk about Jaja, I'm like, bro, he got killed by somebody else, bro. A whole different Latino, uh, 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 a Latino race. And y'all want to y'all wanna sit up on here and y'all smoking on them? You know? But then I realize, I come to realization of why they smoking on them. Hmm, what, what can make you want to smoke on a person? Was he stepping on y'all that bad? Or was he chasing y'all down? Or it had to be something. So sometimes you ain't got to ask a person like me, was he like that or nothing? Just think about why they disrespecting him. You know what I'm saying? It, it got to be some type of reason. But yeah, Jaja got killed during the initiation of Latino um, gang. You know what I'm saying? They 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 called him. They had to do something to somebody, and they killed him right there in broad daylight. Broad daylight, Ashland full. Anybody know Ashland? It's always full. It's traffic coming down. Ashland packed with traffic. You know, you got the T-shirt store. Where they where where the dead people get their shirts and everybody get their shirts made. Then you got the fake jewelry store and you got the furniture store and all that shit, bro. Jaja, he get respect from all the known members like Moda, Marcus, Fat Shawty, Gucci, um, a lot of members from Jairo. You gonna hear them and they saying nothing good about um Jaja. When I seen Jaja, he was a respectful kid. You know, I ain't even never heard him curse. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I ain't never heard him curse. Every time he around, he just around, bro. He just around observing, you know. And I feel bad for his mama, you know, that had to go through that. I feel bad for him, you know, because that, that type of shit pissed me off. When you get killed and you ain't part of something, when you just get killed by a random motherfucker, you ain't even get killed by your ops or none of that. You know what I'm saying? You got killed by a motherfucker who was an initiation. A nigga like me gonna be upstairs arguing with Jesus. Like, hey, you gotta put me down. I don't even know me go. You know, shit like that. But rest in peace, Jaja, man. I always respectful kid. I hate when people disrespect Jaja, bro, because he got killed by a Mexican, bro. He ain't get killed by nothing else. And it's not to all Mexicans and all that. Because a black person to kill a Mexican, or a white person to kill a, a Mexican, or a black person, or a black person could kill a white person. You know, anybody could kill anything, but. but just to let y'all know, if y'all didn't know, Jaja did not get killed by no ops, no 63rd, no 600, no EBT, no none of that on the initiation lit. You know what I'm talking about? I thought we was in California the day when I found that shit. I say in Chicago, that shit happened. But yeah, but yeah, everybody respect Jaja, man. He lost his life at a young age, bro. You know what I'm saying? 17 years old, that's a young age, bro. And that hood is rough. And then losing all your friends, you know, that's why we we got to stop. Ain't no lesson in this shit because I can't say you can't go with your mama and walk outside. So ain't no lesson in this. Y'all just learn from everything, bro. And a lesson. And sometimes karma could be the reason. You know what I'm talking about? What shit happened. You know, but this is a story on Jaja. This is my memory of Jaja, man. Being all in the hoods on Rose, Eberhard, um, Vernon. You know, watching them as kids and grow up and seeing what they becoming now. And I imagine what they could have been or what they'd be right now. If some of them were still alive, would they still be doing the same shit? Or would they get a second chance and, you know, chase some money or something? I ain't saying go to church, but they probably be chasing some money or something. But, yeah, that's my memory on Jaja Long Live. Jaja Long Live. Venzel, too, on that thing. Them two, them one of the two, the two deaths in the hood. And Taekwon. That pissed me off. I'm still heated about all that shit. But yeah, I'll be back at y'all tonight with Dale's story. Tukaville Dale, man. Another innocent kid, man, who got killed behind a lot of bullshit, bro. Behind this drill shit. So I'm going to come with y'all with the Dale story at 6 o'clock, man. This Trenches News, man. Y'all be safe out there. Y'all be aware, man. And remember to adopt one of them shorties, man. Adopt one of them shorties. And, and 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 see you will see change in your hood, bro. Take the baddest motherfucker out the hood, bro. The baddest motherfucker. Take him to McDonald's. Take him to Star of Rock. Take him to Wisconsin Dells or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Give him some love. All the little brothers want his love, man. They don't want nothing. We don't need the feds or the police around, bro. We could do this shit on our own without them even coming, bro. Just adopt the shorty, man. That's the new program I'm starting. But y'all be looking out for that shark on land and swiper, bro. Swipe and Shark on Land, man. We're going to come up with the name in a couple more days, what our name going to be, man. But y'all make sure y'all on that stream yard tonight, man, for that Shark on Land 
and that swiper, man. This trenches news, man. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. Glock 23 with a stick. I'm out.